okay so now on the home screen we don't want to show this dummy data we want to show a node that a user loads so let's just remove that and write a code for showing the node that a user added so right here we will say let then future we will say list then note and then we will say underscore not list and make sure to import not underscore dot at the top so using this we will take all of the node from our database and then right here we will create a date time variable and this will be equals to underscore date formatter and this will be equals to date format then we want to show the month then the day and then the year okay it is a date format when you will so change it to date format and now let's create an instance so we will say database helper then underscore database helper will be equals to database helper dot instance and make sure to import the database dot dot file like this change this to data because it's data you can also import the database dot dot file at the top and now right down below we will create a function by the name of update note list and in here we will say underscore not list will be equals to database helper dot instance dot get not list and right here let's create a init state and inside this init state we will call this update not list function and every time the app start we're gonna call the update not list not list and this will return a list of nodes now right here we will remove this and we will say not node then this title will be changed and we will change this to node dot title add a null checker and also we will give it some style so style then text style and the font size will be 18.0 the color will be white and then we will say decoration then not dot status and if the status is equals to zero so if this means if it is equals to zero then the text decoration will be dot none or else the text decoration will be dot line through after this we will change the subtitle so right here we will type dollar sign then curly brackets and right here we will say underscore date formatter dot format and not dot date as null checker and then we will show the priority so we will again add a dollar sign then we will say not dot priority and now let's give it a style so style then 
text style and inside this text style the font size will be 15 and the color will be white and for the decoration we will do the same so copy it from there and paste it down right here so it means that if the user didn't click on the button okay this check button then the text decoration will be none and if the user click on this check button then the text decoration will be lying through and this means that we will show a cross lines on top of the non title the date and the priority so now inside this checkbox right here we will not print the value so remove it right here we will say non dot status and it will be equals to value and the value will be one so if the value is one it really will be the one or else zero and after this we want to update our note as well so for that we will type database helper dot instance then dot update note and the note will be note then right here we will call that that function which is update note list and after this we will navigate the user to the home screen so type navigator dot push replace with context and the root will be material page root and then we call the home screen function then right here we, this will be the same but we will change the value so the value will be changed to not dot status equals to zero so if it is equals to zero then it will be true else it will be false and also we need we want to add one thing more which is on tab so outside this checkbox brackets right here the on tab will be equals to navigator dot push context and the root will be cupertino page root and the builder will be equals to add not screen then in here the update not list will be equals to a function this is update not list and the note will be equals to note and for now let this comment this out and now if we move to our main widget and right here in the body we will add a future builder and right here we will type return and this future builder bracket will ends right down below right here and if we move right here in here we will say feature future and the future will be not list and then we will add a builder and inside this builder we will type context and then async snapshot will be equals to snapshot and this curly bracket that ends after this list view builder okay after this ends the and the curly bracket of the builder and now right here we will say if the snapshot dot has data 
so if the snapshot has data it means if uh, the snow uh, snapshot has no data then we will return a center widget and inside the center widget we will add a child and then a circular progress indicator so if the snapshot returns empty then we will show a circular progress indicator or else we will show all of the nodes that a user uploaded and now right here we will say final int then complete mode count and this will be equals to snapshot dot data add a null checker and then dot where node Then we will say the node, or else we will say dot to the list dot length. So now after this, the item count will be int dot phrase, then snapshot dot data dot length and we will change it to string and after this we will say plus one so it will increment by one and we will change this to dollar sign complete not count of then dollar sign curly brackets and Inside these brackets, we will say a snapshot dot data dot length, and after this, right here, we will say snapshot dot data and null checker, and then we will type index minus one, and now we will decrement it by minus one. So now if we restart our application and as you can see it shows my note 0, 0 out of 0 because we didn't upload any note for now and now in the next video we will allow the user to add a note and then that note will be displayed right here. So see you guys in the next video.